Hi friends, welcome back to another video. Today we are setting up my 2023 reading journal. I've never had a reading journal before and uh, I've seen a lot of them on YouTube. I really want to get back into doing a lot more reading in 2023 so uh, I decided to set up a journal and have a bit of fun with it. This year I'm using the Otter Gammy journal um, as you've seen there unboxing it. It feels really nice and I'm really impressed with it so far. I'll have a link for it in the description if you want to take a look. So for my cover page I thought I would take a bit of inspiration from library books. I basically lived in the library when I was a kid and I always remember the little uh, cards that they had whenever you were checking them out and they would put the date in your name for when it was due back. So I made my own little card for uh, an index. So I will probably put more than one in, but I'll fill this out um, as I go along so I can put in the pages and what the books are for each page. I just thought it would be a nice little uh, homage to all the reading I did as a kid and a nice way to set up the cover page. So I've never done a reading journal before. I've done a lot of looking online and having to think about what kind of spreads that I would want to do for myself. And I came up with a few different ones. I don't want to overwhelm myself since this is the first time that I've done a journal for reading. So I've just done a few. So this next spread will be my TBR to be read and also my writing tracker goal. I have set a goal for 24 books, so approximately two a month. And what I'll do is I'll put the pictures of each book into those top sections and I can color in the squares below as I get through my goal. So fingers crossed I can get on average about two a month. I'm a pretty quick reader whenever I get the time to do it, so I just need to be sure that I make the time. And uh, I'm excited to get started. I already have, I think, 12 books on my list so far. Um, I, not necessarily going to be the ones that I read this year, but they're on the list and hopefully those are, are going to be ones that can get me started. A lot of the decoration you see here is just kind of a collage theme. I figured that that's probably going to be a bit of a running theme throughout the journal. Maybe I'll change it up for the different spreads I do for each book whenever I read it. And some of the stickers you see here will be ones that I've gotten through different ephemera packs, but also my own. The book washi sticker and the cup sticker were both mine. And these books aren't necessarily in any order. I also have 12 more to fill the space, so if you have any suggestions, I would love to hear them in the comments below. This next one is my first challenge page. So I've decided that I'm going to try and fill out reading every day. I'm not sure if I'll get the chance to do that, but it means I'll have an idea of how much I've read throughout the whole year whenever I have a look at the spread. So what I'll do is use one of my brush tip markers to colour in each day. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to change colours or not, but I'll see. I'll maybe choose a couple of different ones just to make it look nice. So I can fill in any of the days that I have read. It doesn't really matter how long I've read for, just as long as I've read for that day, even if it's just five minutes. But it'll be pretty cool at the end of the year to see a visual representation of how much I've actually read throughout the year. Um, since it's been a while since I've actively read a lot, I think it'll be a cool way for me to be able to look back and see my progress. So this next one is another challenge and it is about reading my shelf. So it's basically books that I've already read and have kind of just been sitting on my shelf and I've not gotten around to. I did see another YouTuber 
with this idea so it's not mine i can't remember their name but i'll pop it on screen and link them below as well so i'm going to list out each of the books I've, I've got on my shelf i won't necessarily read all of them next year but this is just an incentive really to get started on it instead of avoiding them since i've uh, been doing that for too long now And the last page is a bingo board setup. I've seen a couple of people do this and I thought it was a really fun idea to help diversify the kind of books that I'm reading. I'm not really sure exactly what I'm gonna be putting into the bingo board yet. Um, maybe something to do with the type of authors, where they're from, their culture, um, maybe the length of books or the genre of books. But if you have any ideas, I'd love to know. So you can let me know in the comments below if there's anything you think I should add. So that's it for the setup. I've only done a couple of pages. I didn't really want to overwhelm myself, like I said before. So it's just a few to get myself started. I think it's a nice amount to start me off with and to get me back into the habit of reading next year. Hopefully I can reach my goals and if not, it'll at least help me get back into the habit of it. I hope that you've enjoyed watching. I'd love to know if you're setting up a reading journal this year, what your goals are. And uh, if you have any book recommendations, I would love to hear them in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. And if you'd like to see more, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next one.